Can you understand her frustration, though, Nia? I can, and I can safely say there must be countless parents out there who are driving, whose kids drive them mad, playing mm -hmm. Fortnite all the time, who fantasise about smashing the iPad, the Xbox, the mm -hmm. PlayStation up. I get it, but we don't do it. Why do we not One do theory it? was that the Wait reason Kirsty's not on Twitter is that she smashed all the devices in the house <laughs> yeah. and is simply unable to log on anymore. Absolutely. Uh, you don't agree? No, you, I you don't. You agree with Kirsty? I think it's really sad. I've heard her being called Kirsty Allstrop mm. today on with Twitter, and I think it's really unfair. It wasn't even about the iPad. It's about the fact that she told them, she warned them, and they disobeyed continually, and then she took a step. So what's the news? Parent is does what she's supposed to an do. an expensive machine the answer to disciplining parent, uh, children when it comes to their use of said machine. OK, I probably would have unplugged the router, <laughs> to be honest. Right. Uh, you know, there's a short, but when you're in that mist, and every parent it's the has red been mist, in that place, it? mm. and it's, when they test you again and again and again, it's been the summer holidays, I don't blame her. I certainly don't think she deserves the public hanging. Well, the, well I think the problem is... I, I don't know why she quit Twitter. It's like, if you're going to say these things on television, then you've got to own, own your position. Mm. And yeah. actually, a lot of people were agreeing with her. The ones who weren't were being very abusive. And I do think... That's when it comes why. To Parenting. Yeah. You, you know, you're a self-proclaimed parenting expert. A lot of experts out like there about how you should parent your children. Mm. From what I've seen of her, she, she's a terrific mum, a very good parent. She just reached the end of her tether about them ignoring the rules yeah. of iPads Look, mm -hmm. and I'm... gently went... I'm not, Gently. I, I don't know Kirsty, I've never met her, and all I can do is comment on whether it's a good idea to smash up expensive gadgets in front of your children. Well, oh, yes, but as a parenting them. expert, I am sure you would say there is no point in issuing rules unless they have consequences. That's right, Absolutely. and there's no need to be self-righteous, which is what you're doing and which is what everyone on Twitter was doing. But and these perfect does... parents were mm. so rude, abusive, personal. That's not good parenting, That's... is it? No, I if don't... They're, if their children read what they'd written... Being Mm. abusive is, you know, it's unfortunately Twitter is a nasty, nasty place these yeah. days. Well, that's where she's getting um, But she could have done a number of other things that would have still enforced those boundaries and I would have locked that, those iPads away. Or if she really wants to take them away, which does have a downside of cutting her kids off from their social circles, fine, then, um, you know, give them to charity. I just think it sets a really bad but example. Yeah, but, but, yeah. but, but, but I would say on that point, I saw people arguing that point. Mm. She bought the iPads, she can do with them what she likes, right? The day that we all start to lecture other people on how they spend their money or what they do with their own possessions is a pretty slippery slope, actually. So yeah. we may not like it, and but the idea she wasn't entitled to do it, I think, is nonsense. Pre-iPad days, my children now are in their 20s, I would throw their football into next door's garden mm. or even into the one after that just to get it out of the way because they were annoying me so much. Well, I would put mine in if cages and not feed them for a week. I mean, it's all relative, <laughs> Yeah, well, you would it? think you Percy know? had done that. And and let's bear in mind this technology chat. Bill Gates himself didn't allow his children when they were in their teens to have phones, and the only place they could use their computers was in the kitchen. Mm. Yeah. And, and you know, technology that... giants don't like yeah. this technology. No. Yeah. My yeah. six-year-old girl the other day inadvertently ordered a $99 game on her iPad because we hadn't put the right controls in place, yeah. not yeah. even thinking this would be an issue, and was then distraught. And actually mm. had a nightmare about... Worried about the consequences. About the... Uh, because she was so upset by what she'd done and when she realised what had happened, that actually the house was going to get repossessed, we we're going to lose all our money, and this was going to be the end of our lives. And I had to really go quite a long way to get in the money back right. to show her we'd had a thing. So there are lots of consequences yeah. to technology and mm. how they're used and how kids deploy them. But I do think in the end, Kirsty also, we may not like what she did with the actual banging, but I think most parents have been in that position yeah. where you go, there are rules, there are boundaries, and if you're going to keep ignoring them, then there is a consequence. Yeah, and the way Twitter's carrying on, it's like she took the iPads and banged them on their heads, isn't it, really? Yeah. Like she's committed an act of violence, yeah, which it wasn't. Yeah. Well, we, you know, we were talking about smacking here the other day, and, you know, I'd rather she smashed the iPads than she, she hurt her kids in anger or anything like that. But it's just a waste. And, and as I say, I think it sets a really bad example about how to look after... Possessions. What do you now, do you with all the food that you and your family don't eat uh, on the plates? Well, that's a good point. It goes what do you do with it? But, but no, no. It goes in the bin. You were about to say it goes in the bin. No, it does go You throw it away. Yeah. So we shouldn't be judging so, other parents on waste. So you don't put it in a parcel no, and send it to a third world country no, to feed people? It's, it's, no, I don't. You get my but point. But it would have gone off by then, Piers. You throw away stuff every day, right? I do, but I don't smash things up on purpose. Well, what's the difference? It is different because it's willful smashing up an iPad is different to having a little extra lasagna of a Friday night. 
well, you're no, discarding because... living stuff into a bin. No, that's different. It, it really I is. I think more different for you. <laughs> it's different for you. So me, because you, parenting expert, decided you are the only person that can decide What's what isn't is not appropriate. We're off topic here, though. What we're talking about is different. A bit of spaghetti bolognese. Well, we're perfect parenting. Not for the poor spaghetti. Is there such a thing as a perfect parent? No. Because this argument suggests that there is. You're not parenting expert. Nobody who wants to put their children in cages and starve them for a week is a perfect parent. You are looking at a perfect parent. But anyway, not everyone can be like me.